Hey everybody, this is Paul. Welcome to lesson 43 in the Intermediate Algebra series. In this tutorial, we're going to be doing a mixture problem. So, if we have 4 pounds of hot cocoa mix, that is 28% sugar, how many pounds of a 6% sugar cocoa mix do we need to add in order to obtain a final mixture that is 10% sugar? So, we know that we're starting out with this 4 pounds of hot cocoa, and it happens to be 28% sugar. So the question is, how much of this second cocoa mix that happens to be 6% sugar, how much of this second mix do we need to add to the first in order to obtain a final result that is a mixture of hot cocoa that is 10% sugar? So we're basically going to set this up like we did in the last tutorial. And uh, so we basically are going to figure out the variables that we know and the ones we don't know and define them as much as we can. So we're going to say that we have P1. P1 is going to be percentage of sugar in mixture 1. So we'll say that the first mixture mentioned here is mixture 1. So the percentage of sugar in mixture 1, we'll just say, is 28%. So mixture 1 has 28% sugar. And then let's go ahead and define P2, the percentage of sugar in mixture 2. So mixture 2 would be the this cocoa mix right here, the 6% sugar cocoa mix. And uh, that's, the, that's the one that uh, we don't know how much of that we're adding to yet, but we'll get to that in a second. So P2, the percentage of sugar in mixture 2, we'll say is 6%. And then we'll let P3 be the percentage of sugar in the end result. So P3 will be 10%. And then we need to figure out the amount or the quantity of each of these mixtures that we're going to use. So Q1 will be the quantity of cocoa mix that we need to make this problem. And basically we're going to use the entire four pounds. So that's what we know that that is definitely for sure. So Q1 will be the quantity of cocoa mix that we use in mixture one. So that's four, four pounds. Q2 on the other hand, we don't really know how much of that we need. We're trying to figure out how much of the second cocoa mix we're adding to the first to end up with the end result. So since we don't know how much of this 6% sugar cocoa mix we need to add, we're going to say its quantity is X. It's unknown for now. And Q3 will be the quantity or the amount of sugar that we need to have in the end. So we know that we don't really know how much we're going to have in the end at this point but we do know how to define it. And the reason why is we know how much of the first mixture we have, and we also know how much of the second mixture we have. And we know that if we add the, uh, the first mixture to the second mixture, or second mixture to the first, whichever way you want to think about it, we're going to have an end result that is basically the sum of the two quantities. So basically, we know that we're using four pounds of the first mixture, and then we also know that we're using x pounds of the second mixture. So if we add them together, we're going to have the total pounds in the end. So quantity 3 simply becomes 4 plus x. So now that we've got these variables defined as much as we possibly can for now, we're going to go ahead and put it into the mixture equation that we used in the last tutorial. So basically, that says that the percentage of sugar in uh, mixture 1 multiplied by the quantity of mixture 1 that we use plus the percentage of sugar in mixture 2 multiplied by the quantity of mixture 2 that we used should be equal to the percentage of sugar in mixture 3 or the end result multiplied by the quantity of mixture in the end. So we know what P1 is, it's 28%. So converting that to decimal form is 0.28. And Q1 we know is four. P2 we know is 6% or 0 0.06 in decimal form. And Q2 is equal to X, so we'll just go ahead and write an X there. And that is equal to P3 times Q3. P3 is 10% or simply 0.1. Q3 is equal to 4 plus X. And we need to make sure that we keep this 4 plus X in parentheses here since we're multiplying P3 by the entire quantity of Q3. 
So now we've got a nice little equation to solve here. So let's go ahead and solve for x now. So 0.28 times 4 is going to give us the result 1.12. And then we add that to 0.06x, and that equals 0.1 distributed into the parentheses here. So 0.1 times the 4 is going to be 0.4. And we put the plus sign down. 0.1 times the x is going to be 0.1x. So now let's go ahead and continue to solve this now. So we've got some constant terms. We've got a constant term here and here, and we've got a variable term here and here. So let's go ahead and combine the constant terms together and combine the variable terms together next. So the constant terms, to combine them, we're just going to get rid of the constant term on one side. And uh, basically the way we do that is we're going to subtract a 0.4 from both sides. And 1.12 minus a 0.4 is going to be a 0.72. And uh, 0.4 minus 0.4 is going to give us a big fat zero. So this really just kind of goes away. So now we have a 0.72 plus a 0.06x. And that is equal to what's remaining on the right-hand side, which is a 0.1x. So next we need to combine the variable terms, the terms with the x's. So the way we're going to do that is we're going to subtract the 0.06x from both sides of the equation. So minus 0.06x and minus 0.06x. And a positive and a negative of the same thing is just going to cancel, giving us 0. And so then we have a 0.1x minus a 0.06x, which ends up being a 0.04x. And that's equal to everything on the left-hand side here. So we basically have 0.72 is equal to 0.04x. So let's just go ahead and write that separated from this. That way it doesn't look like a fraction here. 0 0.72 is equal to 0.04x. So this is basically our result now. So then we just simply have to divide the left-hand side and the right-hand side by a 0 0.04 to get x by itself. So 0.72 divided by a 0 0.04 is going to give us 18. And a 0 0.04 divided by a 0 0.04 gives us 1. 1 times x is just simply x. So this is equal to x. So now we have 18 equals x. So we've defined x to be the quantity of mixture 2. And we're dealing with pounds because that's how the problem was presented. And so now we basically know the quantity that we need to add. So we have x equals 18. So basically that's 18 pounds of the 6% mixture. So that's our answer right there. So we basically need to add 18 pounds of 6% sugar mix. So basically this means that if we have 4 pounds, where'd it go? There we go. So basically if we have 4 pounds of a hot cocoa mix that is 28% sugar, and we add that to 18 pounds of the 6% sugar mix, then we will have an end result that is 10% sugar. So this basically answers the question. We need 18 pounds. So really 18 pounds would be the answer. 18 pounds of the 6% sugar mix to make this condition true. And we're not actually asked in this question to figure out what the end quantity would be, but it would be pretty easy to find out because we know that we have 18 pounds of the 6% sugar mix now, or 6% cocoa mix that is then basically we would just add that to 4 and it would tell us the end quantity. So 18 plus 4 would be 22 pounds. So in the end we would have a 22 pound hot cocoa mixture that is 10% um, sugar. 
So anyway, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for uh, the next tutorial in the Intermediate Algebra series. You guys have an excellent day, and if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe.